Hello, everyone. Welcome to Spooky Fun Times with Derange, a game made by Grab the Games, I believe. Anyway, we are here today in death. To meet death and possibly die in death. Anyway, casual, weaker enemies? No. Survival, standard game difficult? No. Deadlier enemies, scarce supplies? I like it. Let's do this. I realize that in the past I have made this mistake by choosing the s worst difficulty, which I myself rather enjoy. Mind you, I actually really do have fun with the hardest difficulty. However, making progress in said difficulty he tends to be a tad bit uh, not so easy. Knowing this, I'm still gonna go for it because I'm an idiot. I. I didn't think about it, alright? Listen, whenever I see a really hard difficulty, I kind of, my body responds on its own. It, it sees death and says, Hey! Let's go there! I love death! Mmm! And then I die. It's not a very good system. His first words were, Don't come for me. Which was really weird, because as my firstborn, that was rather odd. <clears throat> Scary baby. We should have listened. Grab the Games presents the scariest game in 2020, pixelated but beautiful. It had been two years since we'd last seen Dr. Prester. I'm not sure why we named our baby Dr. or Prester. I think it was my wife's call, if you ask me, but I know she would resent the fact that I said that. It was my idea. I thought it would be funny, and then he turned out to be smarter than both of us. Sounds like a plot for a gay. Well, anyway. He had vanished off the face of the earth after leaving his post at the university. Yes, you heard me right. He was smart. He was a genius. Man, I love that baby. He made more money than me. But he was mine. <laughs> he hadn't even bothered to tell us where he was going. He just got in his tiny little toy car and drove away. <laughs> he had always said he would stop at nothing to unravel the secrets of life. Perhaps he'd just become wrapped up in his research. We hoped, wherever he was, that he would find what he was looking for. And that he eventually would come back. Because we really miss our baby. He was only months old before he left. I still remember him. Then, without warning, he sent us an email. Don't come for me, it said. I may not live. I may not live to see the day, but I know what I am doing will help humanity. In the end, I may be a baby, but I am above everyone. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that I'm giving my life for the benefit of you and everyone else. I love you, Father. Give Mother my regards. I'm going off to fight the demons. <laughs> What a brave baby! Man, this guy is great. Wish my baby was that. Oh, I wish I had a baby. That'll never happen. <laughs> I knew only one thing. Prester was in trouble. And it was up to us to save him. We traced the email to its source. We only had one lead to follow. Can you trace emails? <clears throat> Whoever had sent the message had done so from an isolated location and matched such who's hats. Somewhere tucked away in the mountains, we would find Prester waiting for us. Or so we thought. But it was the demons that sent the email. They hacked into his account while he was off fighting their brethren. They hacked into his computer, his baby laptop, and sent a message to us, his parents. For what reason? I have no clue. Maybe it's because, you know, our genes are so amazing, they were afraid that we'd pop another genius out of the... Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> Moving on! I have a purple car. Please select the character you'd like to play. Well, as much as Jessica looks like an amazing person, she's a grad student... Not sure what the hell that means. Starts with a lighter. Ooh, can carry two extra items. I'm not gonna. Okay, sure. Starts with a multi tool. Of course, I did technician. You got a multi tool. Oh, yeah. Can find hidden items and supplies. I like Nathan. Nathan's my boy. He's a scout. 
You can tell he's a handyman. Everyone around the old college came to him for help. I got a good feeling. Is this gonna be a Resident Evil type deal where each character you choose has its different, uh, you know, movements and such? So, this is it. Looks like we finally reached our destination. I can't believe this fog is still only on the bottom half of my screen. It's really weird. It is really weird to just see the fog at half of the screen. This old house. Whoever sent Prester's email must be waiting for us inside. That's right, I figured it out. It was the demons, Jim. The demons. They sent it. <laughs> From here, this place looks totally abandoned. Calm down. I know you're scared, but don't go crazy. We all know demons were killed by our son many, many months ago by our... During the war. It was terrible. Many... <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I was gonna say... <laughs> this is just going in a bad place. From here, this place looks totally abandoned. Let us go inside and ransack the place. Come on, Nathan. Let's check it out. And then she was never seen again. Oh. Shift. That's standard MV controls. Use a mask to examine your surroundings. If you see anything noteworthy, stand in front of it and press enter. Yes, I understand how FPGs work, sonch. <gasps> What the heck am I talking about? I got a... Uh, stamina bar! <laughs> hey, don't go wandering off. I might need you for something. <laughs> don't mind the knife. Oh, no, my wife's been possessed by a demon. The demon. Oh, woman, why can't you let me be my useful self? I see holes on the side of this house. I gotta repair them. I got a multi-tool. Alright, are we going in, or are you just gonna stand there? You don't honestly believe that email came from here, right? Look at it, it looks abandoned. There's no electricity anywhere. Front door's locked, of course. I don't know what else I was expecting. Don't worry, with my multi-tool, I shall fix this problem by breaking a window. I'm well aware you can do that with a rock, alright? But this is multi-tool, it's fancy-like. Gotta be a spare key somewhere. You should look for it it's inside one of these rocks, maybe. Key, huh? I'll keep an eye out. Thanks a bunch. Keep trying this door in the meantime. Yes, I'm sure that by opening it and closing it multiple times for no apparent reason, it'll unlock magically. Not a very smart move. Can I finally fix that hole? Or will I die? Nope. Hey, a bunch of rocks. Well, that's the, um... What's it called? Inventory. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm losing a whole bunch of words here. I'm losing it, Jim! Okay. Hey look, a door that is covered with plants and vines. And I can't appear to be capable of drawing out my knife from my multi-tool to actually cut it all down. If I could just find a way to clear them. You have a multi-tool, kiddo! You know what a multi-tool is? It's very useful! It's got a knife! Uh, among other tools, there's no reason to use it. Oh, you're an idiot, Jim. <clears throat> I know your name is Nathan, but I'm gonna call you Jim. Jim Bob. Jim Belushi. Alright, moving on. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Man, dude, you need, you're weak on the knees, man. Get some springs on ya. <sighs> Lots of rocks, but there seems to be no key underneath them. What could this mean? My entire existence is a lie. If rock does not have key, then who am I? WHO AM I?! Anyway... <coughs> okay, I'm fine. I'm looking at all the stones, because usually there's a hollow stone. I'm gonna look out uh, for the demon. The demon could be anywhere. I know it. He's hiding. WAITING! Anyway... I can go inside here? Yes, indeed. I have been working on my hole... Hey, hold on a minute. Hey, let's not say that. What in God's name happened here? All oh, this blood. It's terrible. Oh, it's, oh gosh, it smells... Oh, it's so much worse. Where's the mop, man? Sure hope Prester's still alive. At least till I can find that key. I thought he was going to say at least until I kill him. 
If anyone's gonna kill my baby, it's gonna be me, demons. <laughs> Back away. <laughs> Best father ever. Oh, jeez, who would do this? Just leave blood lying on the ground. Oh, so irresponsible. Don't you know you can get infected with things like that? Portable camping lantern, it doesn't seem to work. Did you try turning it on? Enough again. His body is covered in cuts and bite marks. He seems to have been dead for a while. Well, my condolences. That looks like a game controller or a gun. If it's a gun, it's split in two, I get the feeling. Some kind of house plant? Hasn't been watered in a long time. It's going a little yellow. Moving on. Hello, demons! If you are there, answer me. Alright, we must be alright. Must be safe. I need a key to open it. How many keys do I need to find here, man? A blank notepad, take it. Oh, 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 I can save by recording my misdeeds. You see that, guys? I can go diagonally. Ooh, this game's fancy. This game's all fancy-like. There ain't nothing here. Was there ever anything? Ooh, a packet of headache pills and a half-filled water bottle have been left on the bedside table. Judging from this newfound technology, I can successfully deduce that that guy is dead because of a headache. Or something around those lines. The bed is covered with mold. It hasn't been used for a long time. How long has this guy been dead? Ooh, yes, please. Painkillers. Pain my kills. What? <laughs> Portable camping lantern. It doesn't seem to work. I'm too weak. I can't turn the switch. I see you here. Are you purposeful? I guess not. There's a closed trap door at the top of the ladder. I can't possibly reach it from here. There's a la- Dude, come on, man. Just just climb the ladder. <laughs> I walk in closet. The door appears to be jammed. If only I had some sort of useful tool that could be used to um, jam it. Yes, well, you can always just climb up the la- Alright, I'm leaving, I guess. <laughs> well, there's no demons, but there's a lot of boxes in the passage. <gasps> the demons! Of course, my baby trapped the demons in these boxes. That's why there's so many boxes lying around. Have I said boxes enough yet? I wonder. A metal utility box. The door is held firmly in place with screws. Lucky for us that I am multi-tool man. Yes, you see that? I'm beautiful. Oh, ammo, you say? I'll gladly take that. There's a handwritten note pinned to the wall. <clears throat> I just want to sleep. The house is infested with bugs. Bugs multiplying. Must be a nest somewhere. Ah, I want to have peas until I find it. Lock doors to keep bugs out. Left key in garden shed since they're too dumb to find it. Now I can finally rest. Hiding in the attic. Peace. At last. Get the feeling you died, friendly boy. Well, that's definitely not creepy. Guy heading away from bugs that he thought could understand keys and use them. The door is locked. I'll need a key to open it. I mean, that's honestly what he's saying. The bugs are out there, man. They know how to use keys. They've been unlocking my doors to eating my food. But now I've locked the doors and hidden the keys. They'll never get to me again. <laughs> I need a key, George. Okay. Hey, why? Mm. Ew. Dust has gathered inside. Grody. Okay, so... If I understand this correctly, I need to cut open those vines through the power of an axe. <laughs> a discarded key can be seen underneath these floorboards. I can't seem to get a grip on it with just my hands. I got the answer. They got pliers. What kind of cheap multi-tool did you get, man? Uh, you gotta get a Leatherman, boy. That's the only good brand of multi-tool there is. Leatherman, if you're out there, call me. <laughs> Bundle of firewood. It's covered in moss and cobwebs. It's obviously been here for a while. Hey, look. Yes, I need it. If worse comes to come, I will chop off the blood in their heads. 
What the heck did I just say? <laughs> I'm out of time, actually! Oh, no! These has got to be 50 minutes, episodes, minutes, episodes, minute episodes. If you guys enjoyed this, by all means, feel free to go down below and uh, click your link. It's a fun game. Don't judge a game by its graphics. In fact, the worse their graphics, the better the horror game. Just go back to the PlayStation 1 and you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, by all means, feel free to tell me down in the comments. I know I'm amazing. That is the biggest lie I've ever told. Anyway, uh, as always, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And uh, until next time, later!